Ow! Oh! Okay, well, it's day three of the uh, raw power fast. I'm hurting. Oh, man. And I'm craving eggs, which means I'm needing more protein. Um, when I got up this morning, my calf muscles hurt really bad. Having me a carrot apple celery. Uh, six carrots, three celery stalks, and one big apple. Celery is great for sore muscles, <clears throat> but my calves were really hurting this morning. Uh, uh, as the day is wearing on, I'm starting to get a headache, uh, and that's not detox, that's just my body. Your body will start actually literally feeding on your brain and on your muscles whenever uh, you're not getting enough protein. My uh, chest exercises that I talked about, uh, the diff, the, my chest definitely... They're rebuilding when you're sore, that's what they're doing, the rebuilding. It's still super tight. My back is super tight too. And I just want to go get a great big freaking omelet. I'm not going to. Jeez, I haven't had any chia seed in a couple of days, so definitely gonna do a smoothie later and make me a with some chia in it. I um, just wanted to do a video and I'm going to try and document it more of, you know, instead of being happy and bouncing off the walls and being the fun guy, which you guys like me to be, is uh, try to keep it a little more real also. And when I'm having off days and just feeling like blah, um, is to show those days. Because um, I feel like it's important that you guys know that, hey, this shit's not easy. And, um, of course, I'm doing, you know, this is not typical behavior on a juice feast. When you're juice feasting, especially if it's your first juice feast and you have a lot of weight to lose and stuff, you really should not exercise and or, or do strenuous exercise. You want to do light, moderate exercise, walking rebounding, uh, very low weight type stuff. Uh, I'm trying to really push the envelope here. Um, and it's only been three days. But yesterday, I mean, I didn't run that much yesterday, but it was a power walk because I had contacted Joanne and let her know that I was going into this forest area. I'm sure that video yet, but you guys will see that, but <clears throat> the reason I contacted her is because there was nobody out there, and looking at the map of the area, I was not real confident of where and how to get back out of there, and I gave myself an hour, so when I got, I really wasn't, wa I wasn't walking, I really wasn't walking fast, I was kind of doing a light jog through it to get through it in an hour, because I told her I'd contact her in an hour, and I figured if I didn't contact her in an hour, <laughs> just the way she is, she'd probably have the, the Mounties out looking for me. Um, there's not Mounties in North Carolina. But, I, I pushed myself really hard to get through there, and I mean, I probably missed a lot of stuff that to see. Uh, I plan on going back really soon and, and checking it out and spending a little more time in, in there. But, uh, you know, I did speed walk through it, and it was up and down hills and whatnot. Um, boy, my calves <clears throat> and my shins a little bit are bugging me. But today I need to work abs, and I'm debating on running or hitting the elliptical. Okay, yeah, I'm running. running. But now I am <clears throat> definitely feeling it today. And... I've got my spinach soaking. Uh, <clears throat> so I can have a smoothie with chia. I think I'm going to throw some hemp seeds in there too. Just to get some extra protein. Because 
And, and today, what I was planning on doing today was uh, my ab workout. Um, and I'm thinking of using the P90 Ab Ripper 2 or 300 versus going to the P90X Ab Ripper because that thing's just totally insane. Um, so I don't want to rip the hell out of myself and not be able to do anything for a few days because I have my real heavy day uh, coming up where I do the, the most uh, on my training, which kind of rethinking that now, but maybe I'll just leave it the same. It's uh, shoulder and arms, so it's a real intense, uh, it's a lot more exercises on that day. It was, it was, I'll try it a couple times to see how it goes, but man, my head hurts. And it's it's just I need I'm needing protein. I've got to I've got to up the extra protein. I can't keep doing it the way I've been doing it and um, change up this type of exercise that I'm doing because um, you know your 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 muscles need that protein and and it's just not about protein, vitamins, minerals, amino acids. So those foods that are highest in amino acids, like I've said before uh, spinach is a more complete amino acid than beef is. I mean, you can go, go look it up, nutritionalselfdata.com. I mean, it's, they've got this great little uh, complete amino acid scale on there. So, but, oh, I'm hurting. And um, <clears throat> I'm just looking to push past it. And I, I think I'm kind of digging the name, the, 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 the raw power feast, you know, and just just keeping it juice, smoothies, raw foods, whatever I need, and not stress about it, not freak out about it. So um, <clears throat> if I make it four or five days on just juice or smoothie, juice and smoothies, that's great. You know, if I, if I feel like I need to eat a raw wrap or a salad or whatever, you know, I, that's what I do. You know, that way I, I'm not so... confined, stricted, you know, that's, that's one thing I hate about some of this stuff, is everything's such in a box, you know, you, you pick a plan and you, you kind of feel like you're trapped in a box, you know, that's why, you know, it's like raw foods, you know, even though I want to use them and they're most effective, you know, later on, I don't know that I want to keep myself within that box, because um, there's a lot of good vegan foods out there. Joanne loves quinoa, and I've never had quinoa, 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 quinoa. So, no, no, other people use it too. Anyways, that's my little ramblings for day three, and I will see you soon.